Hi, and welcome to Fedator's Chile Travel Training Program. I'm Sarah Ranfone, the Director of Marketing for the North American Market with Tira Hotels um, here in three of the most beautiful locations in Chile, the Atacama Desert, the island of Chiloé, and Patagonia. First of all, at Tierra Hotels, we are all about the experience. We're in these incredible, really remote destinations. Most of our guests are coming from very far away to get to us. So we really strive to create a sense of place in everything that we do to give our guests the most authentic experience possible that's true to each location. We are adventure spa hotels. So a big part of that are the excursions. Our guests do tend to be a little bit more on the active side or at least aren't afraid to get their boots a little bit muddy during the day and then come back to the hotel at the end of the day and enjoy a nice um, relaxing spa treatment or just the perfectly chilled glass of Chilean wine. Um, whatever your idea of wellness is, we're totally okay with that. But we really believe in that balance between active and wellness. Design is really important to Tierra Hotels. Um, it's something that really visually sets us apart from a lot of the other hotels, especially in Atacama and Patagonia, where there are quite a few hotels that we can all kind of look the same on paper, but visually um, and aesthetically, we're, we're very different. Um, all three of our hotels have won multiple awards for their architecture and design, um, and everything in the hotels has been very carefully curated to reflect our surroundings, um, again, to evoke that sense of place that I mentioned before. For. And finally, sustainability is at the core of everything that we do at Tierra Hotels. We are some of the most sustainable um, hotels, not just in Chile, but in, in the region. Um, and we recently actually published our 2019 sustainability report with tons of information on all of the sustainable initiatives that we are practicing and our goals for the future. If you're interested in that, you can find it on our website. We are all inclusive, so that means all daily meals, transfers to and from the nearest airports, um, guided excursions, either one full day excursion or two half day excursions in small groups, open bar and access to our UMA spa facilities and the pools are all included in the rates. So we really try to make it easy for you. Um, just get your clients to the closest airport and we take care of everything from there. So first we're going to head to Tierra Atacama in the north of Chile. Um, it's the driest desert in the world and it's very famous for its clear skies um, because there's such a low level of humidity there's very low cloud cover and it makes it um, one of the most popular destinations for stargazing so if you have clients that are interested in astronomy and interested in stargazing um, the Atacama Desert is going to be the perfect destination for them and it's actually an excursion that we uh, that we offer for free included in our rates at the hotel um, and we can also organize astronomy uh, astrophotography as well if that's of interest to your clients to get here it's just a two-hour flight up from Santiago um, and then an hour and 20 minute transfer to the hotel um, from Kalama so it's a really um, of the three hotels that we have it's going to be the easiest one to get to there are constant flights from Santiago and Kalama um, so any um, flights coming in from the states directly to Santiago are all over at night um, and your guests can easily take a flight up to Kalama and be at the hotel by lunchtime um, they could do a half day excursion if they're feeling up to it or maybe just relax um, in the pool or at the spa and get the get the kinks out after traveling, um, but they can really take advantage of that first night. Tierra is unique in that all three of the hotels were actually built around the view, so you're looking at what you came all this way for. In Atacama, it's the Lee Volcano right in our backyard. We have 32 rooms here, 30 of them are facing the volcano directly, and two of them are actually family apartments um, overlooking the Salt Mountain Range, so there's no bad views. As you can see, we've really brought in all local materials, um, locally sourced handicrafts as well to again, um, evoke that sense of place and really bring the desert into the room. All of our excursion plans are made on site so you don't plan anything ahead of time. Your clients will do that when they arrive at the hotel with one of our expert guides. You don't have to worry about excursions not being available on the days that they wanna do them. That's not gonna be an issue at all. They'll be able to do exactly what they wanna do. Our guides will sit down with them um, and figure out their physical activity levels and their interests and they will come up with a completely tailored plan for them. We're super family friendly. We don't have any age limits in any of the hotels. So we do see uh, quite a lot of kids and multi-gen families 
um, come stay with us. And again, because all of the excursion plans are tailored to each guest's specific needs, everything can be adjusted so that the whole family can enjoy the same activities together. Next up, we have Tierra Chilue um, down in the Lakes District. Um, this is kind of the northern part of Patagonia. So Patagonia is more than just Tortoise and Piney, it's basically the entire um, southern part of the Southern Cone. Um, so there's a couple of ways to get here. You can fly from Santiago directly to Castro, which is on the island. And then from there, it's only about a 20 minute drive um, to the hotel, so super easy. Um, but that flight is only offered a couple of days a week. So if you can't get the Castro flight, you can always fly into Puerto Montt, which is on the mainland. Um, that's about a, three, a two hour, 40 minute flight. And then from there, it can be the two to three hour transfer to the hotel. There's a ferry involved. So depending on how fast the ferry is moving that day and how quickly we can board, um, it can take more or less time, but it's a beautiful journey um, and it's well worth it to get to our hidden gem here in Chiloé. We're located on the Rilan Peninsula, overlooking the Puyao wetlands, which you can see a little bit down there at the bottom right, and the Pacific Ocean. Total opposite of Atacama here, um, and our guests who combine the hotels really love this combination because of that contrast um, and that you can go from the driest desert in the world um, to this lush green island in northern Patagonia within the same day um, and still feel like you're a part of Tierra Hotels, but also um, that you're a part of the actual destination. So as you can see, we've used all materials that really reflect um, Tierra Chilo or reflect the island of Chiloé. We have naturally sourced uh, repurposed wood, the great copper fireplaces. It's super cozy um, because like I mentioned, it is a lush rainy island. It rains every single day of the year. Um, not all day, every day, but at some point every day. So it's the perfect refuge to come back to after a day of excursions. You can see we have the um, naturally the handwoven lampshades. We have handwoven slippers that the guests get to take home with them as well. So everything is really uh, locally sourced and supporting um, local artisans, which is really important to us. Something that uh, is really special uh, to Tierra Hotels are common spaces. The hotels are really small. Um, Tierra Chiloé only has 24 rooms um, and they're very intimate. So we have these great common areas which are perfect for our guests who tend to be a little bit more sociable um, to come back to the hotel at the end of the day, um, grab a drink at the bar and you know, get to know other guests and, and you know, compare their excursions and, and what they've been doing that day. Um, and a lot of times it happens that they make friends, um, friends for, for a lifetime. Excursion wise, we have a whole range of things to do here at Chiloé. Uh, because we're on the water, we offer a lot of water activities. So we have great bird watching um, in the Puyao, um, in the Puyao wetlands, um, which are actually protected wetlands um, and home to just an infinite number of bird species. So if you have avid bird watchers, they love Chiloé. Uh, we have kayaking, of course. Uh, we have horseback riding with our own horses on site. We have mountain biking, great hiking. And of course we have the Wiiche. This is our locally made all wooden yacht, um, fits up to 25 people. And our guests get to take this out for a full day excursion. Um, we'll bring our chef on board. She'll prepare a gourmet lunch, um, snacks throughout the day. And of course, open bar. Um, and it's really the best way to get to explore Chiloé. Guests can get off and kayak. They can go on the zodiacs and look for dolphins and penguins and other wildlife. Um, they can get off and go on uh, on foot or by bike around some of the tiny little islands nearby and explore. But it's really going to be their adventure, their way. And then finally, we have Tierra Patagonia way down at the end of the world. Literally the road to get there is called the road to the end of the world. So you have to keep that in mind that it's going to be a long trip to get there no matter what, um, but it's well worth it. It's everybody's bucket list destination. So you have to put in uh, a little bit of work to get to uh, take off that bucket list item. So from Santiago, the most common way to get to the hotel is to fly from Santiago directly down to Punta Arenas, way down at the bottom. That's a three hour and 40 minute flight. And then it's a, about a four, four and a half hour transfer to the hotel. So you do need to count on a full eight hour day of traveling to get there from Santiago. 
Um, the other option is during high season. So typically November through February, you can fly to Puerto Natales, which is a little bit closer to the hotel. It's only an hour transfer. Um, but like I mentioned, it's only offered during high season and only a few days a week. So there's, those are very um, highly coveted flights that you have to uh, prepare ahead, ahead of time to get. But otherwise you can do the beautiful transfer from Punta Arenas to the hotel. Um, it's really, uh, to me, it's an important part of the experience. Uh, we also do offer transfers um, to and from El Calafate on the Argentine side. We get a lot of guests who combine uh, Argentine and Chilean Patagonia, and we can include that transfer. It's about a five hour transfer um, for any stays of four nights or more. So here we are um, sitting right at the edge of the Torres del Paine National Park on the northeastern quadrant overlooking Lake Sarmiento in front of us and as you can see with a totally unencumbered view of the entire Paine Massif right in front of us. Um, to me Patagonia is of the three hotels just the most perfect example of sense of place because the hotel blends in perfectly with the surroundings. You really can't even see it until you're at the front door. It blends in so perfectly. Terra Patagonia is the largest of the three hotels with 40 rooms and all 40 rooms have uh, completely unobstructed views of the entire Pine Massif. So there's no bad views here either. Um, it's, as you can see, a theme uh, between all of our hotels. Um, we've used all natural repurposed Langawood in the construction of the hotel. Um, as I mentioned, we are right outside of the Torres del Paine National Park limits, but if you walk off of our back porch there down to the lake shore, it's just about a 15 or 20 minute walk um, down there. It's once you're standing on the lake shore, you're technically inside of the park. So just to give you an idea. And we're about a 15 minute drive from the closest uh, park entrance. So we do of course offer all of the classic excursions inside of the park, the great glacier boat ride, the hike up to the base of the towers, of course, um, but because of our unique uh, position outside of the park, we also offer some tier exclusive excursions that nobody else offers. And those are really perfect, especially during high season when the park starts to feel a little bit like Disney World and, and gets really full of tourists. Um, these are really great to escape the crowds and really connect with Patagonia. Again, we're super family friendly. Um, some people might be intimidated by Patagonia, but there's really, uh, there's really something for all levels, um, all ages and all physical activity levels. And if all else fails, you can always just sit back and enjoy our spa. Um, you can do a safari, mini Patagonian safari from inside of the hotel since we blend in so perfectly and we're really isolated. We do see quite a lot of uh, wildlife just right in front of the window. So guanacos and rayas and foxes and armadillos. Um, and of course, you can't get bored of just watching the skies change color constantly. My contact information is here. Um, I'm always happy to send you more information if you're interested in rates or knowing about current promotions. Um, and of course, I also have left our amazing guest experience teams information there as well. Um, if you're interested in making a booking, they will be happy to help you with that. Thank you so much for joining and thank you to Fedator for helping to put together this amazing capsule of information. I hope you found it helpful and we hope to see your clients come to visit Chile soon.